classics of magic, the cups and balls. I know this is the one you've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Houdini said, no man is a magician unless he can adequately perform the cups and balls. The wand through the hand, and then if you would just massage the back of my hand, that's perfect. The second ball is back on top of the cup. Oh, oh, man. You can actually take the ball and penetrate the cup. Yeah, that's the first one. You do it again, you get the second one to go through. It joins the first one. Now you're right back to where you started. Oh, I use two cups, and for me in table hopping, this is the ideal number of cups to use. One, maybe not exciting enough. Three is too many. Two is just right. The balls are placed into the hand. Take the magic wand, give a little tap. The balls will immediately jump out. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. well, it's back under the cup. I made it a little bit bigger. I even changed the color. I thought it would be easier to follow. But if you missed that one, you probably missed this one over here. To be truthful, I actually use an extra ball. I just don't know how anyone missed it. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you hold out your hand. Why don't you just feed the big guy on the inside? That, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'll take this one. Tap here, tap there, and the ball goes right through. Take a look. Yeah. Oh!